What's going on guys, it's Joey here. We're gonna do your weekend uh, no connection, no communication situation. We're gonna look at the tarot cards. I have charts here just in case we find something there. Um, you guys already know how I feel about charts. It's best to get your personal one done and buy a professional instead of guessing work on YouTube, especially when you don't know what the planets are doing, what they're aspecting. They could be aspecting things in certain houses. So, you know, that Venus retrograde you keep hearing about, according to your rising sign, might not affect you the way you think it will. Anyways, guys, so my email's in the description. Email, email, email me if you would like a personal read. Uh, I do tarot and astrology, so we can do all that for you. So let's get started. Uh, this is going to be quick, fast, easy night. And this is just for people in the no communication, the junk, the, the bad stuff. This isn't for you if you're in a nice, loving relationship and everything's going good. I don't know. Or unless you want to break up, maybe. <laughs> then this will work for you, this read, maybe. So yeah, let's get started with Aries, okay? And, um... We're going to keep it simple. I'm not even going to do any upside downs. We're going to try We're going to try to get just positive things out of your no communication. I already see the 10 of swords and the strength over here. So yeah, we're going to start with Aries, okay? So let's go for Aries. Mm. Let's see, I got Aries on the rising here. Yeah. All right, Aries, so pop that person in your head. We already got jumpers, I ain't taking those. Pop that person in your head. Keep them in that Aries head of yours. Uh, I know you feel a lot of hate towards that person. <laughs> mm. Got the moon in your third house. They may have taken a trip or you may have taken a trip or you're thinking about taking a trip or something. Let's see what we get here. You have the high priestess. So even though this person is not communicating to you, you have your intuition on point. And it's funny because I was talking about the moon. It's the first thing that stuck out in the chart for me because the moon is sitting in Gemini for you. And I think this is you saying, hey, uh, I need to get away from this. Uh, the world card, yeah, and that's another get away from it card. And what's Saturn as? One, two, three, four, five, five, uh, well, this could be, you know, cause I look at the world, I look at it like Saturn here and it's in Aquarius. Uh, you already know that this is in balanced here. And speaking of balance, we have the two of coins. So you know that they're juggling and you know that they left you out in the cold. Well, that's simple. Well, why are you here for the tarot read? Well, let's see here. It feels like, to me, it feels like to me, first of all, that the communication has stopped, and that's coming from your side, Aries. The communication has stopped from your side. Um, Although that they may have wanted to get together with you or maybe take a small trip to visit you here with the world card and what's going on with the moon. You may have been thinking about that. You maybe thought about it. And then I think you gave this person an excuse, honestly. The one that's doing the juggling here is you. You gave an excuse about, um, no, I can't this weekend. I'm working because he's juggling coins. So you've told this person, I'm juggling work. You think leaving this person out in the cold is going to either kind of give them a taste of their own medicine here. Let's see here. The high priestess, no communication. That's exactly what I said here. Now you get a communication card. And it's funny because the eight of wands is the only card without a person in it. The world, the king of swords, another Saturnian card. It's putting up your boundaries, baby. You put up your boundaries when it comes to this person. Um... 
Nine of Cups under the Two of Coins is saying, you know, you're trying to find something that's going to bring you a little bit more fulfillment, just like I said. And Five of Coins with the Three of Cups. You think this person's playing games and juggling other people. Now, I don't know. Is that just something you're thinking of? Because the moon is there and the moon is the way you think and you have the High Priestess here. So you're thinking you don't communicate to them. Maybe they'll choose other options over you. For some of you that might resonate. And you're possibly thinking, uh, yeah, you know, let them work for it. And, you know, they can come get this when it's here, you know. They can't keep up with the Aries show, then uh, show's canceled. That's how I feel here. And that's very Aries of you. Let's see what the outcome here. The King of Pentacles, yeah, you know, it's people focusing on work here, focusing on... The, I feel like things that are going to last. And this is also an element of not wanting to change. So that's it for the situation on you, Aries. Um, yeah. Taurus. Moo. Hey, Taurus. Hey, Taurus. Moon in the second house, by the way, Taurus. So, you know, this week, I think this person didn't buy you perfume. They didn't buy you a Christmas gift. Or you're possibly thinking what they're going to buy you. <laughs> you know, you're possibly thinking, oh, no. This person hasn't communicated with me. Or they're two-timing me or whatever you're thinking here. You're also thinking about the Christmas gift that they're going to have ready for you here, I feel. <laughs> That's really shallow. <laughs> That's okay. That's what this reads about. <laughs> Let's see here, Taurus. You have the Five of Swords. Yeah, you're all out war. You're all at war with this person. And and Saturn is aspecting your first house. He's sitting in the 10th, but it, it's aspecting your first house here. And let me put the grid up. Yeah, it's aspecting the first here for sure. So it's like career, it's it's you and you know, you you're probably you were focused on work this week and this whole week went by really quick for you, I feel. And you've been putting up boundaries with this person. This person's also been putting up boundaries with you. Because I have the judgment card here. And I feel like... I feel like this is already dead. Whatever you're here about. And um, you know that it's not balanced. And we have another Saturn card here. The Five of Coins. So like just like the Aries, you're pulling up things that are Saturnian here. And then you have the Ten of Coins at the end here. So the Ten of Coins to me is like the ultimate happiness. It's like you wanting the end dream, but you realizing um, the conflicts that this person, what kind of conflicts is this person causing for you? King of Wands, they're unreliable. They're, they're a fire sign. Might be a Leo. Um, this person's attractive to you though. That's why you're here. The conflict is, the all-out war is inside of you trying to get this person in line. And when I think of Six of Pentacles here and Ten of Pentacles, those are physical things. Those are gifts, right? Um, you may have gifted this person something and you're expecting something back. Six of Swords with Judgment, you're also thinking of getting away from that. The Justice card. Justice and the Six of Coins, I mean, yeah. It's pretty much how it is. I can't really force this read. It's unbalanced. It's not giving any results here. Um, you're looking for Ten of Coins and Ten of Cups at the end. Um, cycle complete. Because I'm only pulling two rows. But I'm sure if we pull the third row, you would have another cycle here. Now, what's going to happen here? Where's the ultimate happiness for you right now, Taurus? One, two, three. Mm, I feel like your ultimate happiness is going to be... At home. <laughs> at home. Yeah, so you're probably at home this week. And I think that's just for the next couple days here after uh, the sun moves into Capricorn. I mean, your happiness is going to be maybe dating new people. Uh, that's what's going to happen this week. 
This week's going to be kind of chill. It's going to be your Netflix and Uber Eats week. You're possibly focused on the work, the pinnacles here, and your ultimate happiness is going to come from dating when we shift into Capricorn season for you, Taurus. That's all I got for you. Quick and easy, low vibrational. <laughs> all right. So, who do we got next? All right, Gemini. We got Geminis. For the Geminis in no communication situations, for the Geminis dealing with the jerk, the bastard, the slut, I want you to pop that person in your mind as I shuffle here. Gemini. Taurus's read was a riot. <laughs> what have we got going on for you here? By the way, Gemini, I was just looking at this while I was shuffling. You may have some sort of like hidden enemy at work that's going to be exposed this week. I don't know why that's coming up. It's intuitive and I'm looking at the chart, but I feel like you have a hidden enemy at work. And if it's a workplace relationship, it's a no-go. Um, and Ten of Coins is here. So yeah, you're, you're focused on work this week. You got the Four of Wands here. Uh, for this no connection, you also have this unreliable King of Wands. Um, and the judgment, um, you know, this could just be from coming from a space where you're focusing on work. A lot of the same messages are coming out for Aries, Taurus, and Gemini here now. It's like, you know, I'm three deep and, you know, Taurus got this card too. Aries got the card as well. Now, you want to make some sort of balance with this person, but I feel like they are, they're actually like communicating with you, but it's like they're giving you the bare minimum is how I see that with the judgment here and the king of wands. Let's see what this ten of coins is with the work. Like you're probably texting them while you're at work and you're expecting them to text you while they're at work too as well here. Uh, six of cups with the four of wands. You see soulmate potential with this person. Uh, Eight of Swords is you know, like you, you're scared that this is going to fall apart before it even gets off the ground here, I feel. Um, if this is a new person, like you just may have, uh, well, I don't see swords here. So it's like somebody maybe in the workplace as well or somebody that you're seeing here. And it's just got you in your head. For some of you, it's going to be the workplace this week that you know this person or you're trying to send messages while you're at work. Now, the judgment is giving you conflicts here, this five of swords and eight of swords, a lot of swords, right? So, yeah, so for some of you, this could have been somebody you met on an online dating app. Um, and you feel like there's something hidden from you, something you're not seeing about this person. Oh, uh, what's hidden? Let's see. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Seven of swords. This person's a... That's a lot of swords. Like, you definitely met this person online, um... But I feel like where, where the conflict is arising is that it hasn't even started yet. And the communication isn't fair or balanced here. Like uh, some of you may have communicated, you feel like this person is a soulmate. And maybe that put this person in their head as well. Uh, let's see here. Where is the happiness going to be for this relationship for the week for you? It's going to be... It's going to be through communication, third house, because the sun will be aspecting the third here, even though you have the sun in Saji, though. So the sun, when I look over here, it's, it's going to aspect the third house. For happiness, it's always going to aspect what's going on over here and, and this chart. So, um, 
yeah, and it's funny because this communication card keeps coming out in the same spot for people. So like I said, this is just for the no communicators. And I feel like uh, what what's happening here is that I definitely see like messages being sent while somebody's at work. And not taking up some time. And I see that there's barely any replies coming in, coming forward, and that puts you in your head. My cat's over there eating my clothes. And I'm trying not to go over there and choke him out. All right, who's next? Cancer. Can you not eat my clothes? <laughs> my cat's eating my clothes. Can you stop? He wants attention. Come on up here, man. Come on up here. All right, Cancerian. It's funny, your card just showed up at the bottom there, Cancer. The moon. Cancerian, I'm looking at your chart here. Looks like you're waiting for some sort of miracle. You could possibly be waiting for someone to communicate to you, but it feels like something's hidden from you there. Uh, they could be at a distance too. I keep thinking car. You'd be happy if this person picks you up in a car or something like that. Two of Wands, the Fool, Two of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Why do you want people that don't want you? I mean, it's pretty obvious what I see here. It's like, and this is kind of like a, I don't want to say like a failure on your part, but it's kind of like you're trying to stick your world into someone's hands here and they're not giving you anything back and you're wondering you know you're you're here like the fool and uh that puts you in their head when people don't move for you as well that that that's definitely putting you in your head and here's your card six of cups over that two of wands well they definitely feel like a soul connection uh with this uh fool card in the wheel of fortune i mean that's that's exactly what I was looking at your chart. I was looking at Jupiter here and then the Three of Swords and the Two of Cups. So, um, you know, I think there may be a, a sense of illusion. Well, why? Because I'm looking at Jupiter here and I see Neptune sitting in your ninth house. So there's a sense of illusion, something being hidden for you. And with this Three of Swords, Two of Swords, that makes Five of Swords. That's making a conflict, the unseen. It's something scary because you're really hoping this person reaches out and gives you some sort of communication to heal things out with you. Uh, is that going to happen? I mean, um, I feel like you'd be happy if they reached out to you. Um, but I don't know. Will they reach out? Uh, four swords? No, I don't see it. I don't really see it here. I see this person kind of like uh, stuck in the mud, right? And then when people are stuck in the mud and we're on this ultimate journey to find a love life here and create the ultimate love story here, um, that just sucks, right? It's pretty obvious, like this energy is coming out in the read pretty clear forward and obvious that they don't want to budge for you. And I feel like they wouldn't be saying it's not because you're not attractive, because some of you may be very attractive as well. Some of you may actually be kind of like social media influencers, that type stuff. Um, some of you may be quite popular. 
But I see that what what's going on here is that it's not about the way you look. It's not about the stuff about you. It's just that this person refuses to move. Why do they refuse to move here? Injustice. Well, they could be dealing with another marriage and son. Um, or we can look at that justice card like they don't really know what brings them happiness yet. Um, is this person a player, a cheater? I don't, I wouldn't say so. No. I just think that this person can't really uh, figure out what brings them happiness. Um, but yeah. That's all I got for you, Cancer. Short and sweet. I mean, is this... I don't think they will reach out, and I think it's just, it's all on their court, whether they decide to figure out what happiness is and that that beauty is with you. And yeah, they may be a soulmate here. They may be. They may be something very soul-connected to you, and I feel like you have that deep intuition and understanding about where the greatest love story is, and this person is just refusing to connect because they're being sluggish here. That's all I got for you, Cancer. This is one of the serious ones. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got for the Leos. Hey, Leo, thank you so much for blowing up my views. And my cat's running around the house. Ooh, did we invoke the Queen of Wands in here? <laughs> All right, Leo. Let's see what we got going on for your no communication situation, Leo. Like, I already know what's going on with my Leos in the no communication situation. And you know what's going on, Leo? I already tell you, I, I can... Shh, I know exactly where you're at. I know exactly where your problem's at. Even the cat's crying. He knows I'm going to put it on the Leos right now. No, don't cry. Come on up here. Come on, join the Leos. Come on. Yeah, come on up here. It's okay. Show your butt off to the world here. He's going to jump. I'm just waiting because if I put up cards on the table, he's going to jump and knock them all off for you. All right, Leo. Just between you and me. I'm looking at this chart. This person you have in your head gives you conflicts. Why? Well, because you're Leo. You have the sun card here. You're supposed to be the sun, baby. They're supposed to look at you like the sun. Justice and the Two of Cups. Leo, you got something good going on here, but come on over here. He was eating my clothes during the Gemini reading. Come on over here, say hi to Leo. He's going to ignore Leo all the way until Scorpio, and then he's going to jump up here. Come on. It's okay. Come on up here. Come on. He's coming. There we go. That's what everybody wants to see. They want to see the big black cat. Leo, um, right off the bat, I'm looking at the chart. Um, you're conflicted because this person keeps telling you they're working and they're not communicating with you. That's what's going on here. I already know your problem just looking at this chart. One second and pulling out that tarot card, the five of swords. And the Knight of Pentacles over that Five of Swords there. This person's slow. You may be dealing with a water sign here. Why do I say that? Because that Two of Cups, it's kind of conflicting, right? With this, and he even has the little logo there, the little lion, doesn't he? It's a Caduceus. That's, that's called a Caduceus. Okay, it's a medical symbol. It wants healing. And you're dealing with a water sign here. The problem is... Um, 
one person's gonna take both cups. Let's see what's going on with the sun here, Leo. Two of Swords. Um, this person's conflicted about you. They know that the ultimate happiness lays with you. That is, that is no question. Leo, there's no question. This person knows that their ultimate happiness sit down, lays with you. The problem is, is Two of Swords. There may be one little detail about you that kind of sets this person off, right? Um, well, for example, voila, you know, um, I have Neptune in the fifth, so sometimes people, they have these one little things that I just don't click with and uh, I don't want to communicate. I just say, you know, it's not going to work. Um, I try to actually not ghost people, right? I try to actually send a message out there and be like, hey, you know, things are going to work out, right? Um, because when I do that, I feel like somebody's not going to ghost me back, right? I'm trying to put out there what I want to get back. And at least I think with honest communication, this person might honestly communicate to you. There might not be a connection here with you uh, because of some things. They may lie just to say, you know, not to be mean here. Um, justice with the Four of Wands, though. I think maybe this week, um, where's the happiness going to be here in the charm? Mm -hmm. It's, it's the happiness is going to be communicating with this person about a dream you have, about dreams that they have. If you're able to do that, I feel like it's it's going to happen here. Now, the problem here is a little bit of a wounded Leo, I think, here with his Nine of Wands. I mean, if you're in a no communication situation, um, that could just be you putting up boundaries, not wanting to communicate to people that don't communicate back to you. Good, good on you. I didn't have to say tonight, why do you want to deal with people that don't want you, right? Usually that's the story with the Leo, but tonight I'm seeing that because this person's not really putting in the effort with you, that maybe you're putting up your boundaries. You're starting to put up your boundaries and the wall's gonna get higher and higher until this person decides to actually pour their cup into you, Leo. What's being hidden from you here, the high priestess? Your intuition's on point. So that's the only thing that's being hidden from you. What you feel about this connection, um, it's spot on. Um, you're not wrong. If you're watching this video, you're Leo, you're not wrong. All right, let's go to Virgo. Virgo, careful this week. You're not overworking. Careful through the whole Venus retrograde. You're not overworking. I'm going to keep stressing that to you because uh, I love Team Virgo. And I don't care if this is the general read or just the sh messed up connection read. I'm going to keep saying it all through this month until January ends, okay? Uh, careful with overworking, okay? Um, for some of you, it could be you that's actually putting the wrench in the gear works. Do you mind? I'm trying to conduct a tarot read here, sir. What do we got here? All right, Virgo, let's see here for you. Your first card is a strength, could be dealing with a Leo. Uh, what's, well, yeah, you know, you have the, in the fifth house, you, I mean, for you it's Capricorn, but I'm looking at the fifth house as it belongs to Leo here on uh, the Venus retrograde. But like I was saying, you might be working here. You might be overworking here and they might be noticing that about you here. The hangman, eh, like I said, yeah, yeah, this could be you that's causing the hangman situation. The high priest and the empress. Um, you know, I think you made this person see things a different way when it comes to love situations and starting new things off. Or if I'm, I'm getting a sense that this isn't new. I'm getting a sense that this is old. And it, it's been old for quite a while here because we have these cards that are kind of like matured cards, right? We don't have any of the, the suit cards. We have 
we have mature cards here. So I feel like this is something that's been going on for quite a while now with that strength of card. Yes, yeah, the queen of cups. It's you trying to mutate things and you are a mutable sign, Virgo. And the three of coins there, it, it's about trying to build something. You want to build something and you're trying to include this person with school, career, I don't know. Queen of cups, king of cups together. And the four of cups. You know, and I feel like Whatever you got going on is very emotional, indeed. The question is if this person's ready to build with you. You know, are they ready to build with you? I think your intuition knows that they're leading on a kind of game here with this King of Cups, right? I call him the King of the Veiled Seas here um, because he's, he's attractive, right? So he or she, whoever you're dealing with, is very attractive. Now, the problem is that they're either building something here, they're, they're in school, they're trying to build up a life for their greatest future here, and um, that's dissatisfying. You want to hear, no, I can hang out with you Friday night, and, you know, you're not sitting there watching tarot videos. Instead, you're sharing a meal with this person, um, you know, because when I see the Empress, I think, you know, sharing a meal together maybe it's you that wants to cook for them nurture them here and you know we keep bringing up the theme of venus retrograde here see she's got venus on her shield there see that so this might be a virgo dealing with another virgo it's kind of overworking here what's being hidden from you in the connection here and temperance it's gonna be a wait and i feel like you've been waiting for this for a while it's still gonna be a wait and um, maybe the wait's over in Saggy season. This is a Saggy card. Um, right now for the connection, where's the ultimate happiness going to be? It's going to be, you know, in a friendship. So yeah, this can, you can friend zone this person actually. And you can quite be okay with the relationship. Um, for some of you, friend zoning this person is actually going to give you a better result. Yep, I said it especially if they're working if this person's working or doing school if you friend zone this person they'll be more appreciative towards you for being the mature one here for being the stronger one um for some of you that just know this person's playing games uh you're dissatisfied with that um that's for the virgos that do know you might have like a scorpio moon or something like that or you may have like a a water moon you might be one of the watery Virgos. You might already be onto it that they're playing games. And what do I need to tell you? Your, your intuition's better than mine, probably. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Let's move on to the Libras. What do we got going on for Libra? Libra, you might be dealing with somebody at a long distance. Moon in the ninth house, opposing Mars in the third here. And five of cups, it feels like something's over. It feels like something's over from a distance. The fool, you may be trying to jump out at somebody. And when I talk ninth house, here's the wheel of fortune. I think ninth, eleventh house with that. Um, you know, trying to see some sort of wish fulfillment when it comes to a soulmate, Libra. You think uh, somebody at a distance is your soulmate here? What's this about, this Five of Cups? Two of Cups, healing. Uh, I feel like the healing is not happening for you, and you know that. Right? And it's funny, because you have Five of Cups here, and there's two good cups behind it. Um, you may have a friend, actually, at this time, Libra. Um, because the sun's going to aspect 11th. It's, it's almost kind of like Virgo stuff here. And how does that happen? Well, it, uh, your happiness is going to be in a friendship. There may be a side friend you have, just like friend zone somebody. Because whatever you want, I feel like you're not getting here. 
um, because you're crying at the beginning of the read. Now, you could have been dealing with an Aries, could have been dealing with somebody who was acting a fool here. You know, when I'm looking at the fool, I, I don't see this as risk-taking. I see this as somebody just simply being a fool. But this is in their space here. Not you. I'm not calling you a fool, Libra. Um, and the lovers, right? Uh, the lovers is under that. So, you know, when I look at the lovers, you know, and I was saying that there's Mars. I, I think Mars, when I see the lovers, Mars, Gemini is what I get. What is the name of that nakshatra in Gemini for Indian astrology? Well, it's not important, but it it's rule, Gemini in uh, Vedic astrology rules one of the nakshatras for a relationship to be consumed here. And this volcano and the thing, I feel like they're just being a fool here and they're not giving you that thing. And you have a lot of twos coming up here. And the read the judgment here with the wheel of fortune. So it's kind of like, you know, I, I feel you when it feels like uh, you're trying to get spirit in there to kind of come in and save the relationship. But spirit doesn't really work that way, does it? Um and temperance, you know, that's funny. I was talking about spirit and then temperance shows up for that six of cups. I mean, I think temperance is here to say to you simply that, you know, relationships don't always have to connect just because it's a soul thing or it feels very soul connected. You get a lot of very like soul connected and mourning for the loss of somebody here. Um... Yeah, and they could be at a distance, you know, and you have the moon in the ninth house, and when I see these cards, I automatically think ninth house. And the moon is in Gemini, so this is about the relationship, trying to put roots into this relationship. Um, I forgot the name of that Vedic astrology nakshatra. I wish I memorized it, so that's why I'm learning Vedic, because so, you get a lot more messages out of it. So when I learn that nakshatra and how to combine it with the tarot, I will get back to you, Libra. I'll put that in next week's video when I remember the name. But it's in Gemini, and some of you could just Google it and research the nakshatra, and you will, or if you want, just Google the Gemini nakshatra. One of them, I think it's the second one, the middle of Gemini, which we would call, like, the second deacon. It would be that nakshatra, I think, about relationships. So I would check that out. Um, you might get some sort of message about that, about planting your roots deep into some sort of relationship here. Um, but that's all I got for you, Gemini. Um, wait, did I say Gemini again? I said Gemini. This is Libra's read. That's all I got for you, Libra. I think, um, yeah, just don't worry about spirit coming through. I mean, spirit doesn't work that way. And there actually has to be a connection going on here. And right now what I see is that there's no connection here. So... You know, spirit's not going to go ahead and try to paste you guys together. That's not spirit's job. I don't know what tarot card reader you're watching, but spirit works with relationships that are together, right? So if it's not working and you are in communication, you are, and spirit's there for you, like in the relationship, then, you know, there is the chance that it'll work, right? So don't get mad at me. I'm just saying facts. I'm spitting facts because I've seen a lot of clients and I know... A lot of them are waiting for the magic trick, the Harry Potter magic trick, and Spirit does not do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so let's see. Scorpio. What's up, Scorpios? Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio, are you there? Put that person in your mind, Scorpio. Put that person in your mind, the one that ghosted you. The one that's in no contact with you. Because the moon's in your eighth house. You 
want to know why they ghosted you. That's why you're here. Well, you won't find out. <laughs> Alright, I'm done messing with you, Scorpio. You know, it'd be cool if I had the mic. If I had one of those boom mics and I just talked into it. Look, look like a video game streamer. Um, maybe the person you're thinking about is playing video games. Uh, Knight of Cups. Right now, you're invested in this person. You're ready to move forward with your emotions. You're ready for something here. Seven of Swords. Ouch. Uh, well, what they're thinking here is like getting away from the scene of the accident here. Why? Because you want communication. Like I said, you want some sort of communication. Scorpio, I already know. See how the astrology works for me? It, it work. I don't. I don't understand why it works so differently for me than other astrologers. But I already saw your cards through the chart, and you know the planets are just kind of like. Psh, 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 or maybe you call it spirit or radio. I have no idea. Okay, but this person, you know. Now you know. Um, you've been online serial stalking this person. You, <laughs> and you know why I call this a stalker card? I don't know if any other tarot card. I only call him the stalker because he's wearing stockings. Look at him. <laughs> um, you could also be feeling now that you're being spiritually stalked. I don't know what that... Scorpio, your, weird, your read is weird here. Yeah, you're ready to take a leap of faith into the most ultimate beautiful love story here with this person. And how, what are they ready to do with you? The chariot? Uh, let's see. Can it be saved here? Um, I think this person's taking a trip during the Venus retrograde. This person's taking a trip, and right now you may think they may be with somebody else, but I feel like that's gonna kind kind of like crash down on them. Ooh, you may find out about this, and you'll find out about it in. Well, that'll be too long before you find out this. No, never mind. It, it, we, no, you're not going to wait that long. Um, this person could be taking a trip, or it could be the two of you taking a trip together, and you're going to find out about there being some sort of balance here between the two of you. Um, honesty plays a part in this. Now, I think this is savable, because it was weird that I asked, is this savable? And Four of Wands came out. I think it's savable if they're able to speak the truth, meaning they tell you what they did wrong. This this is actually uh, savable. It's tangible. What's being hidden from you here? Uh, seven of Wands, putting up boundaries. Yeah, you should put up your boundaries. Uh, definitely, especially if someone's cheating on you or going on a trip with somebody else. Yeah, just put up your boundaries. Um, now, if this person comes clean later on about what they've been doing and you'll know because you've been watching online what this person's doing. Um, you're going to know what this person's doing. And they're in a no communication. You're going to figure it out or a friend might tell you with this Ace of Pentacles. Um, that type thing. Very strange reading here, Scorpio. Let's see where your happiness is going to lie. Uh, work. There's going to be work changes for you this week. I feel like that's where your happiness is going to lay now. Um, work is going to be a thing and you may not feel like doing work or you may feel like, but that's where it's going to be for you. Focus on you. Um, forget that other person. Um, if it works out, it'll be because they fess up to you that they screwed up. All right. Sagittarius, 
What's up, Saggies? What's going on, Saggy? It's your season. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Saggy, be careful with uh, random. If your tummy gets upset, I would go see a doctor. If that randomly happens to you this week, definitely go see a doctor. Just seeing that there. Side, side banner. Sorry. When I see it, I just want to say it. So I know it's unrelated to here, but go ahead, pop that person in your head, Saggy. Pop them in your head. The lie they told you. Also, you could be putting pressure on somebody right now as well to kind of like fulfill something for you. You may feel like, I feel like you may feel in the evening when the sun sets, you may feel like the pressure to put on somebody here and that causes you some anxieties. Um, yeah, and look, there's your card, the Nine of Wands. You're hurt. Uh, the devil is how they think about you. And they may think you're obsessed. Uh, Seven of Wands, Knight of Pentacles is just moving. You know, that's what's, it's stuck here. Swords. What do you got going on here, Saggy? Um, this person thinks you're trying to chain them down into something serious right away. They could be putting up their boundaries as well as you putting up your boundaries. So this is kind of like a budge fest going on and nobody's moving now. Um, but the night will move. And, but when they move, I feel like it's going to be too late here. Um, two of coins is supporting this nine of wands card. So you do have hope that this will kind of turn around. The situation will turn around. What they think about this is uh, they're kind of scared about it. And yeah, Saji, like they don't see the ultimate end game here with you. And I, I'm not saying that you're chasing them. It might not be like that. But this is just like uh, them not being able to see the lovers. Instead, they see it like the devil, right? They see it like uh, this may be too much for me. And it, the devil's not a bad thing, though. I feel like if you welcome the devil, well, then you can have some very good kinky sex here, of course, but, um, yeah, and I feel like for the rest of next month, the end of Cappy season and next month, either, I don't know, this is just a side message, let's see, yeah, and King of Pentacles, you might meet somebody older and they might actually be better in bed. <laughs> just something that just came up in my head when I see this Eight of Swords. Because this person is too stuck in their head about it. You might meet an older person here with the Judgment card here. I've said that in one of your reads. Was it like two months ago? You might meet an older person. That's, I think I said that. I may have been like two months ago for you, Sag. The Judgment card here with the Seven of Wands is... Basically, the two of you trying to make a decision what's going to happen here. Um, I do feel like there is communication. If, if there is communication, it's very slow. Um, by the time that this gets moving, I feel sad because these are wands. So I'm going to say it's you here dropping the situation. And King of Pentacles, you are going to find somebody that's a little bit older, a little bit more mature. And for some reason, I feel like somebody that's just better in the sheets because... Um, this Knight of Coins, um, they don't have it going on here. <laughs> Not with Ten of Wands under them. <laughs> Sorry. See, now you guys are starting to see how I think when I see some of these cards. Oh, Saji, what are you thinking about this week, Saji? Seventh house relationship. The moon is in the seventh house, Gemini, so you're thinking about relationships. And you're thinking about, like, past life stuff, because the node's also sitting there, north node. So you're thinking, you know... Oh, soulmate type attachments, you know, and be careful with that devil card overthinking that, you know, let people go. Let's see. Let's see what happens with this knight where he wants to roam. Let him go. 
Um, anyways, you got something better. That's all I got for you, Sag. Capricorn, what's going on with you? All right, Cappy. Put that person that ghosted you or that barely contacts you, put them in your head. Let's see what's going on with them. Right now, Cappy, your happiness is if this situation changes. I'm looking at this chart and I'm just saying your happiness is going to lay on, rely on change. Now, if it's a good change or bad change this week, I feel like it's going to be, you just want some sort of closure, like change. You definitely, and that would make you happy because you're able to kind of like let go of thinking about it and move on to something new here. You have the Page of Cups here. Yeah, it's just you giving a friendly offer of love here. Um, then, <laughs> lover, I don't have any upside downs in here. And the lovers came out upside down. This person, I'm going to leave it upside down. Let's see here. Nine of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, just like I said, you shot friendly love offers here at them. Or you're giving the hints here. But I don't feel like they're catching it. And that puts you in your head. Now, Queen of Pentacles here. Now, by the way, in the last video, she was on the table, I feel. And I said, you're mutable. Well, the queens are mutable. Here she is again. I know you're a cardinal sign. I know. You don't have to tell me. But this season, this cappy season, you're mutable. Because I say so. And the chart says so. It's a change of season and it's about people that put your love situations upside down. Nope. It's a change of season for you, Cappy. Page of Swords under that Page of Cups. This is kind of like you're also looking at them online or trying to figure out where they're going. Uh, this person may not have a phone for some reason. I'm picking that up intuitively. <laughs> like, they don't have an email address. Maybe this person doesn't like social media as well, like they don't upload stuff to social media, so you don't really know where to start looking for this person. Eight of Cups, this person walked away from something. Um, could have been you, yeah, I think so. Nine of Swords, why are you in your head? Well, because you want wish fulfillment, and you're not getting that. Queen of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles. Focusing on the work. And I think this is the work that you have to do on yourself this week, Cappy. This is definitely you being mutable, changing seasons. And like I said, the sun is aspecting the eighth for you. Eighth house. You have the sun in the twelfth house, Saggy, for you now. Yes, the eighth house is where your happiness is going to be. Some sort of change. Some sort of change. Because when I look at the 8th house, it's like a black hole, right? It's sucking everything up. It's it's nothingness. I mean, across the street, you got second house, cars, home, uh, this iPad. Uh, you can't take that with you when you die. There needs to be a change, and I feel like you can't take this person with you on that journey of yours, that beautiful journey. And it's a change of season for you. What's being hidden from you here? Three of Cups, that's being hidden from you here. This person's got you tied up in a third party. I'm done here. I'm done. I'm, I, can't, I can't push that read anymore for you without getting mean. And that's not what I'm trying to do here, you know. I'm trying to help you out. Whereas if they're not giving you the balance you need, you stop thinking about it and you get the closure from me that you need, get it from me and forget this person. Especially if they're like leaving or they're traveling, leaving you alone, that type of stuff. Nope. Aquarius.
All right, Aquarius, so let's see what's going on with you. Aquarius, you could be having some friends over this week, so maybe you meet somebody new at your home this week. Um, and you know, like, I've just side message that I'm pulling up from the chart here, by the way. Right now, you're thinking about dating life. And the moon is in your fifth, and you're thinking, when is this nightmare going to be over? This is why I don't date. Cappy got that card. The Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Devil, and the King of Wands. Well, there's a lot of energies here. What do you got going on here? Do you have like an orgy going on here? Oh, no, it's the friend. Okay, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not saying you're having an orgy this week because you have friends coming over. No, it's not what I mean, okay? Um, but Queen of Pentacles here, you're trying to like nurture a situation. You leave the door open for this person, but this person is hard headed. They don't want anything to do with you or they may not be communicating to you because their world revolves around certain things and I feel like you're not part of, they are not part of that. They probably don't want to be part of that here because we have the devil being challenged here. And that could be just you thinking, overthinking about this person. Uh, we'll figure it out. And then you have the king of wands here. Mm. Now, at the end, well, this person is certainly attractive. They may be a fire sign to you. Yeah, and the emperor, Aries, Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. And I've been associating Queen of Pentacles with Capricorn a lot more lately, even though they, they don't don't even get me started on why. Because I know queens are mutable and that's Virgo. But I am associating with Capricorn because their season is changing here. So you may be dealing also with a Capricorn that's going through some sort of seasonal change here. Uh, Ten of Coins, you want the ultimate endgame. You want the Avengers. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know the Avengers theme song. I'm going to watch that when I finish. I'm going to watch Avengers. <laughs> Let's see here. The World Card with the Emperor. Yeah, they may be older than you, and they may have, like... I don't think this person is cheating on you, though. I don't think this person is lying to you, actually. I think this person's actually been forward with you. I don't specifically think this person hurt you. Ooh, I think this person is just trying to create something around them here. And sadly, you know, maybe it doesn't involve you or that they just have an ideal in their head here. And what's being challenged here? The Queen of Cups, another mutable card. Um, you know, and I think this is you closing the lid on overthinking a situation with this person and queen of, queen of wands, queen of, king of wands. That's just you here at the end, putting up your boundaries and exploring the new passions here. You got new stuff coming your way, I feel here. Um, it could start with a friendship stuff here too as well. I feel like Venus... Uh, retrograding, you still might have a lot of friendship stuff going on. Although that's not affecting that, is it? No, not necessarily, but I feel like, um, well, how does it aspect? Yeah, it could, it could, it could aspect for a little bit here. I don't know, I'd have to fast forward the chart. That might take too much too long but I think yeah you may have something start up with a friend intuitively I picked up the friend thing so if you are getting together with friends this week uh, don't skip out on that go out um, you might meet something new you might meet a fire sign but like I said think this is just you being flexible um, you know when I see king of wands with the lizard I think of military because of the lizard and military to me is well, the Greek word is, uh, the original Greek meaning was flexibility. And I feel like you have to be flexible here. And wands are flexible, right? 
uh, even good swords, a good sword is flexible. I know I deal with swords. I live in Japan and I do martial arts. I study Aido, Aikido. So yeah, you know, I think this is about being flexible and understanding maybe you don't fit in this person's kingdom. What's being hidden from you? Six of Swords, what's being hidden from you here is maybe that they're, they're kind of leaving you here high and dry. Um, but it doesn't matter. I think as long as you're not forcing anything with the devil there, um, you might meet a new situation with a friend or it might be uh, two of you turn into friends. Friends with benefits? No, that's not you, Aquarius. I know that is not you. <laughs> All right. And for the last one of the night, the Pisces. What's up, Pisces? So let's see what's going on here with you and this person. Pisces. All right, Pisces. Put that twin flame in your head. Put your no contact situation in your head. How long has this person ghosted you? 12 weeks? A year? All right, Pisces. You know, I feel like you can see the truth. Got Neptune sitting in the first. I know my Pisces see the truth. You guys don't need a triple fire sign tarot card reader telling you the truth. I hope this comes out on the audio recording. You have the Ace of Cups here. No, for real, Pisces like you. You have this Ace of Cups. Something started here. Temperance. Uh, this person has got you waiting for something. Uh, they're not showing up bad to the party. Okay. The hangman is being challenged. Yeah. We're stuck here. And Page of Wands. You know what? This Page of Wands, that could be you, like, trying to poke at this person. Like, hey, you alive? You know, and I get the picture of the kids poking a dead body with that stick there. Um, trying to get the truth from this person. Uh, do you get the truth from this person? Well, maybe, maybe in a week you will. When, uh, yeah, maybe in a week you can. We'll figure it out. We'll pull another card for that one. Boundaries about this Ace of Cups. So now you've established some boundaries. Now you've decided... Well, if they're not going to communicate to me, I am going to put them at a distance. You may be thinking in your head too, well, why do I always leave the door open to them? Joey, I always leave the door open for this person. But do they open? Do they take the door? No, King of Wands. They definitely don't. They're open to it. It feels like every time you have a new connection, it's the same story for you with this. You get the same story with characters not wanting to commit. Uh, you may also have two people here in, you may have two connections going on. One's dreamy, one is fiery, you know, one, one is water, one is fire. Um, it doesn't matter what sign they are, but one may take on more of emotional aspects for you. One may take on more of the physical aspects for you. Um, if it's, uh, for some reason, you're the first sign that pulls two energies in the read. Okay, so there, there is going to be a Pisces here with two energies. That's not going to be all my Pisces. Though. For most of you, it's that this person is not giving you the physical or the emotional. But there's a Pisces here that has two options. Um, I feel like the option, if it's you with the two options here, right now the way I'm looking at the chart here, I feel like the one that communicates to you the most often 
is actually more attractive and is going to give you more of a better result for a relationship here. Now the one that is emotionally stable, this is this is kind of like you being put out, hung out to dry by this person. Because they're this other person's more attractive. And you may be trying to aim for things that are physical, the more attractive. And I think, you know, it's time to really look at the things that are more sustainable. Communication sustainable. That's where your happiness is going to be here. Yeah, let's see what's being hidden from me from this connection. This is specifically for the people dealing with one person. What's being hidden from you here is Seven of Swords. Um, normally, right, we look at this like a betrayal. Um, I don't know, I could look at it like betrayal. But I'm looking at it as like, maybe somebody's really trying to gather their resources before they make a determination about what's going to happen with this connection. I don't see any bad cards here. Only bad if you're dealing with two energies and you kind of have an emotional beginning and you have another beginning start up. That's going to be for some of the Pisces. Um... That's really confusing. Yeah, that's confusing. And I, I understand why, though. I think um, when I'm looking at Saturn there in the 12th, it's kind of causing a little bit of conflict here in the third house for you, which is communication. That some of you may also not like the way people communicate with you. Like if they send you a wall of text, that might just get you in your head. Like with this connection and that that may be a no-go for you. Uh, the next thing that, that's going to have to happen here is kind of like dating. You're going to have to get out of the house here this week. And you're going to have to actually meet people to make something happen here. Um, I could definitely see if this... If they're not trying to meet you here because instead they're doing this, then you have your answer, right? They don't want anything to do with you. They're not going to give you time of day. You don't need to go and click on other tarot videos to get your answer. You're getting your answer here. They don't want anything to do with you. Go out. Uh, your happiness is going to be dating. It's going to be dating new people. And for the Pisces, the one Pisces that's here dealing with two energies, um, it's going to be the one that communicates to you. Because the one that's attractive not communicating to you, that's all inside your head. They're not your twin flame. <laughs> all right, so that's all I got for you, Pisces. So take it easy. And that's all I got for everybody else here. So go on, get out of here. I'm done. Take it easy, guys. Bye.